Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Chimera Squad. We're taking out Axiom, Torque, Verge, and Blue Blood. He's got all the training done. He had a scar that reduced his crit chance. And then he had an upgrade to improve his crit chance. So now if we look at him, he's doing 25% uh, as base. That's not so bad with somebody that can shoot all the time. Uh, there's this weird thing on the Artful Fathom. You can see uh, in the description there. Reload, upgrade, gunslinger has no friendly name. Don't know. What kind of problem that's going to cause us, but, you know, prob probably something. I am currently working on a assembly project for the improved assembly so that we can maybe do things faster. And then we'll go into the Mastercrafted Pistols for him as well. Uh, okay, so let's get rocking and rolling, collecting trafficking data. Three encounters, armor shredding... I mean, easy, right? You just, just don't, just don't get shot. How this hard is that? This club used to be the heart of an alien trafficking operation. Three One PD never figured out who was behind it. Now Gray Phoenix is on site. We think they're here to clear out evidence of their connection. Don't let them. Can't have that. Pleasure. I'm happy to punish anyone who holds a leash. Love you, Torque. Okay. Skylight entries. Mobility, less damage. Unit's turn jumps forward to directly follow the previous agent's turn. So let's put this up here. And somebody like... See, now we have so much control. We have so much damage. This is... This this honestly feels kind of like the ultimate group. Because uh, we have built-in regen on Axiom. We've got built-in regen on Torque if we need it. We could just poison the, the floor and, like, stand there. We have built-in... Uh, Regen on um, on uh, Verge, sorry, with the neural network stuff. So, man, a lot of cool options. Okay, Axiom, Torque. Enemies deal less damage. Yeah, Blue Blood, and then Verge. Oh, I mean, we'll experiment with this order, but uh, this feels okay. Follow me. Okay, four big bad boys. Paladins, Pythons, Dominators. Let's go Dominator. Uh, if we go Toxic Greeting on the Dominator, then he's toast. What's our shot percentage? Yeah, let's just do this. It works the same either way, and we guarantee it. Dominator gone. Next, we go Paladin. Legionnaire with the uh, armor piercing on him, maybe. 66 feels pretty bad. Go Paladin. Nice crit. Fresh off the upgrades. And Paladin as well. Excellent. Good whiff. Bad whiff. Super whiff. Not so whiff. Definite hit. That may have been a good option for uh, for shelter <laughs> if he was here, but he ain't. So we could use that um, disorientation bomb. With that many hostile enemies. Okay, so let's go smash. Let's let's actually just take a second here. So, we know Torque's going to go next because of the way that we did the breach. Which means Torque could shut down one of these. Possibly the Legionnaire, but it might be too far for the tongue grab. More than likely, uh, number three here. If we wanted to leave that adder, that's probably okay. We could run all the way to the, to the Legionnaire and then see what happens. Uh, then we also have this adder, number five. And we have Dominator, who's going to die from the poison. Eleven's also going to die. So this guy might get to act, but we've got med kits everywhere, so I think it's okay. And when we don't have med kits... Oh! Axiom. Oh, God, that's good. Where we don't have med kits, we have poison immunity built in. So... 
Okay, so now three. Oh, I can reach there. I can reach this. What about four, though? Because we said we... This is a much easier grab because there's no cover between Torque and the target. If I can get some type of knockdown. I'm going to actually go Psych up here. I feel like this is probably the way I should be doing this. So you go up to like three or four if you're comfortable. Go in for the smash. Then Psych up to five after Adrenal Surge because I almost want him to proc this so it get extra attacks out right away. And if he doesn't, then he's in a good position to shrug it off. The other argument is keep him at four. He has a really good chance to shrug it off. Less chance to go berserk. Um, and it lets him be more of a tank. Because if he goes down to zero here... Disorient's nice. So let's see if he rages. No, he's cool. Okay. We can take the disorientation. Um, but yeah, do you see what I'm saying there? I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, but it's risk either way. Because you don't know. It's an unknown. Legionnaire. Dominator over here at six. Let's throw this down. Sting. Get that poison going. And then we go, yeah, see a hundred percent there. Whereas still 97, really good. Now that they're disoriented, Time let's go for, for this. I wonder what's on this menu. Sectoid kibble? This adder's... I don't know what he's going to try to do here. Oh, that's fair. Good. Okay. Blue blood. So lightning hands. Uh, does he have a... Does he have a shot on this dominator by chance? No. I could still come out here and still get two shots with lightning hands. Is that enough to kill? It might be, actually. He doesn't have he doesn't have mastercrafted pistols yet. But with dead eyes. Actually, uh, lightning hands first. Four to five. He's got the high crit chances. Disorients nonetheless. And then if I go dead eye now, six to seven. Gotcha. He lives, but he's disoriented. And even if he does something like, uh, it doesn't matter what he does, because we can kill him next turn. Ooh. You know what? They very rarely are able to pull that off. And every time it happens, like the, I would say maybe three times it's happened. I think, oh, we maybe should have grabbed that skill where you can't, um, that, if he gets hit during the bind, it doesn't matter. Oof, that's sad. That's a sad whiff right there. Paladin's gone, so let's go stupor on the python. That's the two action stun. Happy to see. And then, if I go Battle Madness on this Dominator, could he hit this guy? Because he's six, right? He would go before this one. 82 only to get that, though. Still pretty good. I believe. Got it. Go here. Just do it. Oh, finally! <laughs> We've done a lot of these berserks where they miss their shot. Okay, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Plus now that's a free... Uh, that's a free knockout. He can deal with the adder. Uh, Dominator we can deal with with blue blood. So I think Legionnaire is the play. Sleep tight, big boy. 
I kind of want to just go for the knockdown, but the, the safer play... Uh, we could do something a little bit... We don't really need to do it. Why can't I tongue pull our buddy right next to us here? Never mind. I was going to tongue pull to give an action here, and then we could, like, put this guy in the neural network so that when we knock him out or kill him, uh, he just goes stunned, but I think we'll be okay. Don't struggle. <laughs> or unconscious, I should say. Get the terminology straight. Okay, blue blood. Let's go here. Oh, actually, we could just save ammo. You're under arrest. Oh, seven damage plus the burn. Wow. You guys are putting out heavy D now. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Man, they've whiffed so many shots. To be fair, they all have uh, impairments when they do it, but... Still. You're approaching a VIP area. Not our kind of VIPs, the actual, original, non-euphemistic VIPs. What do you mean, non-euphemistic? Pretty nice kitchen, too, actually. Explosive or the best for last. Guarantees a lander shot. We don't really need that. Um, Axiom here. I like having some immediate control. We could throw down the, uh, well... So we can't smoke bomb here, but this goes against my previous thought where on the last mission, oh, now it says like, I swear that this looked like it was available here. Oh, huh. okay, my bad. So because we're using the bomb, we can't use anything else. Let's do same setup, seemed to work pretty good actually. So torque, blue blood, purge. Going in. Look, Torque doesn't even flinch. He's a pro now. Okay. Adder looks like a good ob a good target. Uh Legionnaire. Paladins, Dominators, Pythons, Adders. Let's go here. Got the shred. Put this on and he's gone. Then. Really not concerned about these adders as much. This guy is a little... Does this just mean that they're in cover? Yeah, high cover. Okay. Okay. Doesn't really matter here, but I guess... So when they're in high cover, uh, I think it works both ways. It's like a point of damage mitigation. So that's how it works for us. Nice. Cool, I didn't want armor anyway, so level the playing field a tad. Stop the hostage taker. Who happens to be right next to the hostage. Is that right? Yeah, I want to get in there. Um, they don't go till 11. Is that what it was? Yeah, 11. Okay. So I'm going to position out here. Chance we go berserk.
Ooh, good dodge. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use the motile here. Oh, but I can't. I have to get vision. Let's go here. On the go. We're gonna motile up Axiom. I know it's only encounter two, I like to save this, but Come right in here. We're gonna do a rapid fire on the uh, on this paladin. Sleep. Run, buddy. Okay, so that's that dealt with. Now I can pull in that dominator, probably ninety-seven. I've got you. This adder will act. Goes on Axiom, who's got five rage. On. So against some of these guys, like some of these snakes now, we're seeing a lot of melee attacks. We saw the Praetorian who goes for melee attack. We see Berserkers. Um, his counter attack upgrade eh, might, might be cool. It might be cool. These are not great. But he also has the stock, so even if it misses... Oh. Very nice. That's shot number one. Is Paladin better now? Oh, he's hitting. He's already disoriented. I could just leave that paladin. Take the free reload. Good to go. And try to get a shot down on him for the disorient with the first bullet in the clip. Oh. Blue blood. Holy smokes, bro. Absolute unit. Okay. Oriented, landed the shot. Doesn't happen all the time. Let's see if they get two in a row. That would be historic, probably. Nice. Okay. Let's see if we can stupor this guy. If we get two actions, we'll ignore him for now. Excellente. Excellente. Let's see what this python does. I'm curious. We could have just taken a shot to kill, but we're in an absolute power move situation. Oh, well worth it. Low on ammo. Well worth it. To do the target. Okay, stunned. Don't stray too far. Release the bind. Knock him down. Blue Blood takes this. Python would act next. Which I think I'm okay with. Full cover. Woohoo! They don't actually try that move very often. Now I understand why. If I don't deal with this guy next to us right now, um, he's going to be problematic. I, I mean, as problematic as one adder can be. Burning's nice. Almost dry. I come down here with a stock shot from Axiom. Then we have two turns to deal with this guy. Make way. Be quick. We only need the two because he's going to burn. Oh, we have 100% to hit this. Uh, that scope coming in handy there. Sleep. Get over here. <laughs> He's probably like, damn it, dude. 
didn't resist. We could have just taken the shot too, but Okay. Activity in the parking lot. Looks like they're wrapping up. Heavy guard on that laptop. That's it. They are not here to cover their tracks. I don't understand. Why are they here, Verge? They are protecting the aliens who were trafficked. That makes no sense. It does not, which is all the more alarming. Oh. They're protecting them. Okay. So, okay, so we already used the breaching charge. Oh, cool. Okay, so there could be multiple. That's I think that's the first time we've seen this happen. Enemies deal plus one damage. Let's go with the target analyzer. Um, do I want blue blood higher up for more damage early? Nah, I think this is fine. Keep behind me. So we have extra crit chances here. Grenade out. We could have gone with the the cloud as well. If we can kill him. There's only two. Paladin, Pythons, Berserker, Faceless, Legionnaires, Paladins. 50% to crit. Got it. Nine. Does this finish him? Yep. Okay, Berserker down. I think we go on the Legionnaire since he's right in our face. There's the crit. Let's try this. 68's really low. Still hit. All right. That's a lot of damage. Oh, what could go wrong if we all stack up on this car? That's the evidence. Don't let them wipe that data. Well, he's dead, so we're cool. Clear the parking lot. Prevent Grey Phoenix from deleting evidence. Okay, so they're gonna try to run it. Oh, cool. That's 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 neat. I like that. We still have Max Rage here. Um, this looks all right. Um, Legionnaire will get to act, and then on Torque's turn, we'll probably use Motel or we use Motel, right? We probably team up. Let's go here. Oh, that's good. I want it to blow up. No, Axiom! <laughs> uh, Axiom! Please come home. Thank you. <laughs> that's a new one. Holy smokes. That worked out exactly how we wanted it to. Oh, he Stop went berserk, though, so something else happened there. So he must have got another hit. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Actually. Immune to poison too strong, maybe? It's so powerful. Okay, so dead. Uh... This Legionnaire... Looks like he's not going to take this initial damage, but the poison should work. Maybe not. Is he immune? Maybe he's immune. No, he's poisoned. Okay. Uh, if I bubble somebody, I could bubble the faceless because he's probably going to come down here. He's going to swipe, and you know how that's going to go. He's too big to be uh, tongued in. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're going to uh, team up Axiom. I'll bubble this dude. Actually, do I just bubble? Why don't I bubble both of these? Throwing grenade. I don't want to bubble him. If I can get him, you, it's over. Here. It's over. 
Okay. Let's heal. I'm actually going to adrenal surge here. Just so we can get our rage stacks going. Let's go to four. Actually, let me go to five here. On the edge. That way, if we do get attacked, we have a good chance of shrugging it off. And everybody comes back to life. Hey, okay, uh, this adder needs to go. Don't want to hit that. You're under arrest. Wait, did he die? Oh, I thought. Look, I thought he had three, and he only did two there. Maybe I missed saw that. Let's uh, let's get off of this. And we'll do a preparation so we can act when these guys come out of their bubble here. Which is going to happen after this turn. Let's release the bind. He doesn't act till 7. We'll bring this guy in. Find up the python and then axiom. I don't know. Well, if we rage, this could work. But he's going to need two big pieces of damage or a knockout or something. Oh, rage, buddy. Rage, rage, rage. Not raging. All right. Now we're going to blow up on this truck. Sick. There's the rage. Bring the darkness, axiom close. Almost dark. Uh, let's stupor here. Okay, two actions, and then we can kill the faceless now. Can I reach this with a subdue? No. down and unless there's like uh You're waves or something we gotta stop we're in the clear just annihilated that was that felt good that was that was good that felt awesome actually this this four person squad we have right now this feels really strong like really good just the regen alone is so nice uh, are you ready for some old world nonsense? Next Thursday is our second annual Boots and Cats Nights. Cool. Humans, prepare to gyrate your extremities as though you have no actual concerns. Exoterrestrials, come see what humans once considered music. Addendum, after last year's incident, management insists that you do not bring cats to Boots and Cats Night. Viper's Nest poster. <laughs> yeah, bring the nice cats work. into the Viper Nest. City 31's cool. alien population is safe from Grey Phoenix abductions. Okay, here we go. So, more damage, which means everybody's going to get HP. Or, arm and equip Praetorians. Those Praetorians look scary. And they have HP. How many could there be, though? You know, that's the question. How many Praetorians could there be? And we've only seen them do one thing. They came in for, like, a melee attack, and we shrugged it off, I think. Um, bring on the Praetorians. 
I kind of want to see what they have to do still. We still don't know who the leadership is. We have three potential dark events out there. On multiple occasions, Grey Phoenix has evaded 3-1 PD pursuit. This happens across the city. They can't vanish into thin air. Find out where they're really going. All right. 11 days. I don't think we've ever seen one that long. That's what she said. Uh, okay. So we're going to ignore that for a while. Um, I guess by default, we take this one. Grab this intel. Sanction cooperation's done. Gray Phoenix follows a pair of leaders. Ah, both mutants. cool. Here we go. Custodian Zell handles their technical interests. We know more about crew chief Yarvo, who directs their martial pursuits. Oh, cool. Zell and Yarvo are unknown quantities. It isn't clear who caused the shots between them. They're unknown quantities? Those names are ship dialect. Each of them must be an alias. How so? Zell translates roughly to good route or safe passage. And Yarvo? Either newly forged or birthed in flame. Cool. Like a freshly formed alloy. Hmm. Interesting. That's awesome. It actually, that's so like fitting thematically uh, for the course of this campaign where like Axiom has just been doing work the entire time. And now we're going against a faction that is led by a muton or two. Custodian, <laughs> Custodian Zell devises technical plans. Crew Chief Yarvo directs their forces. No record of either name in post-war detention center logs because it sounds like they're just using, like, code names based on what he said. Okay. Next item in the scavenger market is free. call signs to confuse everyone? <laughs> I'm in. No, because I work so often with computer terminals. And you, you patch people up. Oh, that's Do actually you know, so like true. Call sign? Everyone makes assumptions about why I chose it. Well, everyone's an idiot. You slap software together like I close wounds. It's a thrill to watch you work. Thanks, Terminal. And I do like your call sign. Reminds me of how you are on the battlefield. Are you saying I move at terminal velocity? Your mouth does. <laughs> Patches. <laughs> Don't oh my god. Think about you. That's cute. Uh, moving on. So, I can guarantee at a point in development, they're like, man, we've got this girl named Patchwork, and then we've got this girl named Terminal. But, like, should we swap their names? And then that's what drove that whole thing. That had to have happened. Terminal, back to work. Uh, City Anarchy, Sanction Cooperation, Field Teams. I don't think we need Field Teams anymore. City Anarchy's fine. Uh, what I could do? What level is Cherub? Wrong guy. Cherub's a senior agent. So is she. Requires a principal agent or higher. Yeah, okay. I don't know how you can get higher, but sure. Uh, she's not quite there and Shelter's not quite there. I was looking at maybe just giving the XP boost, but at, at this point, it's probably not, not that worth it, honestly. So let's get another free item, I guess. Wait, what is she doing? There we go. Okay. 10 days there. Here's where things are going to go a little bit bananas. These are all going to go to max, essentially. And then so is this, right? So up to this point, we've got City Anarchy at zero. Now, if I ignore this one, we still have 10 days. Like, this, this feels like we should really be prioritizing. Um reducing that number of days it just seems like it's so long so far away um we are going to have vigilance on the next turn this there's nothing i can do right now uh we have enough intel to buy an upgrade for when this is available so we can reduce it pretty heavily we have 
the Major Crimes Task Force for reducing anarchy. Our next spec ops with patchwork could be reducing anarchy just in case things start to get crazy, but doesn't seem like they're going to. Shrike mercenaries and Praetorians. Bomb threat. Either one of these, does it, it doesn't matter. But what I'm considering is we already have a rank three here. So if we let that go, this is a rank two. This is rank two. I think we just take this. I think we go here. So they've got Shrike Mercenaries, Armor Shredding, and Praetorians. That's cool. Can't even fit the Dark Events on the list. It's only one uh, Breach option. It's just a door. So we'll be able to use the Target Analyzer. Seems cool. I think this is fine. We take this. These go. We can, we have ways of dealing with it. I'm not too concerned long term. We're near. We're closing it on the end. I'm sure. So even if we have city anarchy ticking, <laughs> ten days in a row, we can still manage it with city anarchy and with the uh, situations. By the time this is done, plus another five for uh, crisis management, that'd be eight days. This is going to be. This is day ten. It's going to be eight days after this. So, yeah, we'll be right there. I don't think it's too much of a problem. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up here. We come back. We'll do the hydroelectric plant. Uh, one encounter. Three dark events, though. So, Praetorians, Shredder Ammo, and Mercenaries. And we're taking out the Power Squad. These guys are going to carry us now, for sure. This is the group to go to the end. I have no doubt.